Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today we're going to be doing how many audio mugs I can read in a week. Let's get going. So, I don't know how to feel about this because sometimes if I listen like more than one audio book on, at the same time, it gets so draining. So, but let's see what we have. I'm gonna open up Lily. I actually like Lily. I wish they could expand on some audiobooks that they have, but otherwise I feel like it's a good app. So yeah, so we have the Prison Healer, Ash Princess, and I'm not counting an Anatomy because I'm already finished, I think, season 5. And I have Red Wolf, Violet Made of Horns, When Dreams Descend. So, if I can finish all these in a week, that will be great. Um, let's go with the prison healer. It's also a little slow. Oh, there you go. And it's also at two speed, guys. Yeah. So, um, I am about 37% on Prison Healer, and I kind of want to break from reading that book on as audio. So, yeah. 37. It's okay, don't get me wrong, it's really okay, but I just need a break from reading, from reading it. So, I'm gonna read Red Wolf, and let's go over there. So, um, they, um, I'm about, like, 10% of the Red Wolf. Why did you shut down? I don't know why I shut them by itself. But anyways, it's actually getting tiring. <laughs> but it's, like, completely draining me. Yeah. 18% of Red Wolf, and I actually like it so far. I think it's better than the Prison Healer, but I might actually f finish Red Wolf today, because it doesn't have a lot of chapters. I think there was like 23 chapters. So, so far I like it. Uh, it doesn't seem too bad. But, um, yeah. Yeah, there's 23 chapters, so I should be able to finish it. Uh, right now, I'm kind of predicting as to what's gonna happen. It's kind of predictable a little bit. But right now, Adele seems a reasonable character for now. We will see how it goes throughout the book. But otherwise, I feel like I have one prediction that will be true. So, I don't know how to feel about it. I am 
hoping it will be long. But um, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna take a break from audiobooks because it's actually draining. Like a lot of draining with the constant listening and focusing and all that stuff. So I might mean a little bit later as well. So I think I might actually mean some more, but physically. I do want to read Strike the Zyphon. This is my February TBR on halfway about. So I do want to read this as well. But, um, yeah, so that's what's happening. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess, for updates. Hi guys, updates. So I'm reading the Red Wolf still. As you can see. I don't know how to feel, but I'm about 30% of it. I think I might gonna DNF this one. It's just so slow. I feel like a doe is just immature and it makes childish mistakes. So I don't really care for an adult. But I wish Dark Woods. That's my sister. <laughs> I wish Dark Woods was more explored. But. Yeah, otherwise, I, I don't know, I might think of this one, so that's what happened today. Um, I might go back to the Prison Healer, or start a new audiobook. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna give this one, like, one more chance, but otherwise, I think I'm gonna think of this one. So it's day two of my audiobook challenge. I'm about 29% off the book. Um, I mean, so far I am enjoying it. There's some parts I don't like, like how she kept repeating, we have to say that. Like that constantly kept being repeated, so I don't really like that. But um, otherwise, I'm enjoying the book. I, so far, I like Kira, but she does remind me of Sarah J. Mass. Which is funny because I read the reviews and that's what they said. Yeah, anyways, um... So it does give me synergy laws. I don't know how to feel about it. Apparently the blurb has been written by her from the reviews that I can tell. Something like that. So it does give me strong synergy laws. But I think I prefer this book over her books. Um, I have read Catwoman, which I actually loved, and A Court of Thorns and Roses. I mean, that book wasn't bad. It was just okay. But, um, I, yeah, I think I prefer this book over Sarah J. Mads. I actually finished The Prison, the prison Healer. So we do have one finished book. The other one I did enough because it was slow. But this book, um, it was okay. I think there was some parts. That could have been done better. There was this one character I was really attached to. Oh my gosh, he is so precious. Um, by the way, there were some parts I really like. I thought the trials look more nice, but they were so brutal when I was reading them. Like, wow, that's so brutal. I think I'm gonna give it three stars. Like, it's okay, but it wasn't that bad. I just think it was a little bit slow, like something happened and something not, and then so on like that. But um, the cow, the main cow, the... I have no idea what that was about. <laughs> but the main cow, the Kiva, and um, I thought she was okay. She just reminds me a little bit of the main cow from the prominent glass. Selena, something like that. I, I don't know how to announce her name, but um... I don't remember reading that book. I couldn't pass chapter one at all. So yeah, so now I'm gonna finish uh, continuing to read Violin of Maid of Thorns. I think that was what it's called. 
and we will see what's going to happen on Friday. So, I'll keep an update on you later on in the evening. Hi guys, it's a little bit later. It's 8.35pm right now. I'm in my PJs, as you can see. Um, I'm about 23%. Yeah, I actually put it to 2.5. And if you can see, but it, it is 2.5 speed. Because, you know, we want to get all the books as many as we can. So far, I am liking it. Uh, but I feel like it's a little bit slow. But I'm sure it will pick up the piece eventually. But I don't know if this is a Cinderella, Cinderella retail. It's kind of giving me the vibes of a Cinderella. So um, yeah, that's probably the update. That's probably the update I have. But anyways, I will see you tomorrow. So it's day five and day four. Oh my gosh, I get keep confusing. It's Thursday. So I'm about 88% done on Violet Made of Dolans. So um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna give it like a three point five stars. There are some points that are kinda of boring. I'm not really too invest invested of the elements of Violet and Cyrus. I think it could have been, been better. Final day of my audio book. I do have to lower my voice because I'm in a different place. But I think it's time to review what has happened so far. I feel like I did a pretty good job, although I could have read a little bit more. I did finish reading two audiobooks and, and one DNF, so it's not completely bad. Um, I am currently literally halfway off Ash Princess. Uh, so far it's okay. I think there's some things that could have been better. I don't know, what was that? <laughs> there's like a weird taking sound. But anyways, um, it's a little bit slow, uh, but I think the character is okay. I kind of forgot her name already. <laughs> but, um, so far it's okay, that's all I can say. So, um, yeah. Red Wolf by Rachel Vincent. This is what if, like, Red is a predator and things happen. Um, I didn't like this. I gave it two stars. I thought it was boring and simple and forgetful. Like, Anil seems to me like childish and immature and stubborn. And then she thinks that she knows everything but her grandmother, 
but Mana and Mana doesn't know anything even though they have more experience than she does. Um, it was really slow. The book was really, really slow. The one thing I wish the author did more was to explore dark wood. I thought it was an interesting concept about dark wood, so I really wish the author had utilized that way more than what she originally did. Um, I feel like the story itself was a little messy. It was like some things happened here, some things happened there. So I feel like there was like a little bit too many ideas going on. The writing is okay, it was simple. So, I mean, nothing's wrong with having writing that's simple. That's, nothing's wrong. Like, even my writing for my books that I write is simple too. So, all I'm getting practice and improving, you will have advanced writing, if you will. But, um, yeah, so that's my review of Red Wolf. I definitely feel like she could have explored way more. So, um, so now we have the prison here, but in it, not Nani, where we have Kiva, who is in prison, and she has, I feel like she has, like, these magical powers, and she has to try to escape the prison, and she has to keep, like, the queen alive, something like that. So this book wasn't that bad. I actually gave it three stars instead of 3.5, like how I said. Um, I thought there were some parts were okay, and there were, like, other parts slow. Um, it definitely had a slow pace at the beginning, so when I was kind of like a struggle, I was kind of falling asleep about that. Uh, I wish you would have kept, like, Kiva kept repeating, the queen must be alive, you know, that kind of phrase if you read a book. So that was kind of annoying, so I'm like, I get it, you have to keep her alive, I get it, but you don't need to repeat every single chapter. <laughs> so, and there was this character tip. Oh. I love Tip so much. He was the best character. I really feel like he was the best character. So I don't want to spoil too much about him, but um, he was precious. I also, uh, about the trials, I thought they were interesting, even though they sounded so brutal. There were definitely interesting parts about the trials, but I wish k wasn't constantly saved all the time, because you know, that's cheating. So I honestly felt like it was so easy for her to even complete the challenge. So I wish she had more independent on her instead of having someone saving her all the time. Jaron was okay. Um, he wasn't really interesting to me. The romance was okay. I didn't really care about the romance. Uh, and also the cliffhanger at the end, it was actually satisfying, so I really liked how the ending had happened. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with the sequel, maybe. It seems promising, so, um, yeah, so that book wasn't that bad. There was parts I actually liked, so, yeah. And my other one that I completed was Violet May of Thorns by Gina Jen. I definitely feel like... There were so many fairy tales mixed into that one. I got Maleficent, I got Cinderella vibes. So, it was pretty cool. Um, I gave it three stars. Uh, I thought it could have been better. I didn't really like the romance between Cyrus and Violet. I wanted more on the world building. I was kind of confused about the world building, like how it was working. Like, why did fame would exist and why didn't exist in the first place? How did a society work? Um, for the characters, I couldn't really connect with them. Violet can talk tough, but she can't do tough, so that was kind of annoying. Um, so I was a blonde. I didn't really got invested in Cyrus, so he was just kind of blowing on the wall. Um, I feel like the book also had like no solid direction. It was kind of all over the place. And the villain, I kind of find it random. There was this wedding scene, and the villain just came out of nowhere. I'm like, where were you before? Uh, so that was a little bit awkward. Um, I did thought the book started out strong, but it kind of fell down throughout the book. And I was just mostly bored. And I also thought like the ending was a little rushed, so I wish it could have been taking time to finish the ending properly. That's the one thing about books, is that you never want to rush your book at all, because you will miss some important details when writing it. I will know, but um, yeah, always take your time with your books. If you can't meet your deadline, 
try a font extension, so and you always want a clean book. But um, I actually had more answers about like, the dreams and mysteries. Like to the so far, but I feel like most of them were just brushed aside and kind of forget about it. But um, yeah, so those are all my thoughts about this challenge. I will probably do this again. It then felt kind of draining to me, but it was so fun to figure out how many audiobooks I can actually finish if I want to finish. But um, yeah, so otherwise, please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!